Okay, I'm with Will Short, the new head of sports medicine here at York City. Uh, Will, you've been appointed as part of a, a new three-man medical team. Tell us a little bit about this new structure and how it's going to work. Um, we looking to create a medical department um, that looks to obviously first and foremost cover the scope of the, the first team and the youth team um, but will very much work as a, a medical department um, working together quite a, a close-knit tight um, department that will provide all the assessment of injuries rehabilitation injury prevention um, you know working across the the grip facilities that we've got here which is the ground the training ground and the the local um, gym and community really that we can use yeah. um, to fully get these these players fighting fit. Yeah. It's a, a, a different model to what we've been used to in the past. Tell me why you think this is the way forward. Um, my opinions of working with um, elite athletes and, and professional teams, football teams in the past, is that you know it's a very insular kind of, it has been a very insular role where one um, member of staff will will work with a certain department, with a certain area or a certain team and another member of staff will work with another team. Um, for me, communication is vital and I feel that to work as, as one team moving forward, working with all the teams, um, having that crossover between players, um, crossover between staff communication, I just feel it's a vital way of moving forward um, to make sure we get the most out of our athletes. Yeah. You're coming into the club with uh, Ian Gallagher and Ryan Garrett. Let's start with Ian. Tell us a little bit about his role and his background. Yes, very excited to have Ian on board. Ian uh, is a physiotherapist with lots and lots of experience. He brings bags of, of, of experience to, to our team. 23 years at Hartlepool Football Club, um, covering all levels, you know, from the kids right the way up through the youth team and the first team, reserves, the lot really. Very excited about what he can bring. He's got a great reputation. Um, he is, he's recently kind of moved out of football to start his own um, private business, which is a physiotherapy business, first team physiotherapy therapy and very excited that we've actually enticed him um, into to the football club um, because he's excited about what you know the potential is for the football club and the department and what we can offer as a department. So will Ian be the figure that, that supporters see on a on a match day? Will he be the guy in the dugout? Yes personally um, I will be an oversight an overseeing role um, for the department um, really trying to take away the you know the background work and let Ian do his job as a lead physiotherapist so he will be the hands-on day-to-day uh, with the physiotherapy team you'll see him on the pitch um, and you'll you know the fans will see him a lot more you will see me personally kind of dropping in and out and having that supporting role and putting the systems in place um, for Ian to do his job um, you know maximally efficiently and Ryan Garrett, will he be working more with the club's younger players? Uh, yes, once more we work as a team and we will kind of approach all teams as a medical department and as, as a medical team. Um, but we do see Ryan as you know, a young up and coming sports therapist and he will be working with predominantly team wise. It will be the youth team and um, the reserves So in terms of games and he will be overseeing with myself um, the younger teams and the medical cover that goes in with the younger teams in terms of the academy. And tell us a little bit more about your background. I understand you've worked at other professional clubs including uh, Doncaster Rovers and Darlington. Uh, yes, yeah, very fortunate to get a lot of good experience at good clubs. Um, I worked with the assisting the first team and doing heading the reserves and the youth in terms of the medical department at Doncaster Rovers Football Club. Um, that was a while back now, 2005 to 2007. Um, very fortunate enough to swiftly move into running and managing my own um, medical department at Darlington Football Club where I had my own team so there's lots of experience of that. Um, that was in League Two um, and playing obviously a lot of teams across the, the varying leagues in cups etc. Um, and from 2011, um, my background moved towards education where I became a lecturer, but I also had the sport running as well parallel to that. So I've done a lot of work with elite sports teams, working with elite athletes um, with England. So I've got caps working with Volleyball England. Um, and I've also represented Wales because I've been asked to do that by GB physios. So um, working with the Wales hockey squads. Um, so yeah, lots of rounded experience in terms of um, different sports. Um, a lot of football and with my lecturing skills etc a lot of kind of managerial experience so that's why I feel it would help you know it's going to help moving forward as a department and my role in the department. 
tell us a little bit about your, your first few days at the club. Uh, how have you found the existing facilities and any particular injury problems that you've been dealing with? Um, facilities, brilliant. You know, um, staff, brilliant. Everybody's been very helpful, very welcoming. Um, you know, they're always available on hand to help you out, give you a guide and hand, a guide and kind of hand, and and lead you to what the information that you need really. Um, facilities fantastic. The, as I said, the training ground. You know, I, I was last here in 2005, I think, with with Doncaster Rovers youth team, and it hasn't have come on. You know, it's 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 got a lot what we what we need um, from a, from a medical department. We've got lots more facilities at the stadium. That there are things I would like to bring in as well in terms of from a sports science perspective, in terms of digital equipment that we can help with biomechanical assessments and screening um, to get the best out of the injured players that we've got and, and from a pre-ab point of view. Um, we've also got the facilities down the road at the Rocco Gym, which I was at yesterday. You know, fantastic in terms of the swimming pool, gym facilities. We can really work extensively out with our athletes there to, to get the best out of them. Thanks very much for your time, Will, and all the best at York City. Thank you very much.